friends. Welcome back to Cards TV. This is Mary, and in my last video, I showed you these beautiful floral stickers and these note cards with the foiling that I got from Dollar Tree. And I told you we we're going to start making some birthday cards and Mother's Day cards. And that's what we're going to do today. So I am so glad you stopped by. And if you're new here, I hope you'll take just a minute and tap that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. We've got lots of fun things that are going to be going on and I don't want you guys to miss out. Okay, I'm going to grab some card bases, and we're going to get started on our Mother's Day and birthday cards using these beautiful, crafty things from my Dollar Tree haul. For card number one, we're going to be using these beautiful daisy stickers. I love these. They have just a touch of glitter and little ladybugs on some of them to give it just that little pop of red, but these are just simply gorgeous. I love them. We're also going to be using Cards TV card sketch number 30 to make our card, and I've got all the dimensions on here for you guys. Now, to get all 53 of the card sketches, if you're interested in doing that, just go to my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com. They're all free to download. You can download one or all 53 and just put them where you keep your photographs. And you can do like I did and get one of those little albums from the dollar store and cut them out and put them in the album. And then when you get stumped for a card or you just want to try something different, pull out one of your sketches and you're good to go. Okay, guys, now on the sketch, we see we have a card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. Now, the first mat is three and three quarters by five. That is this cute little mint green gingham. It's a diagonal gingham. I like to back my mats with a solid color, especially when they're light pastels like this. It just helps them stand out. From the background so I've cut this yellow piece where's my ruler I want to make sure I tell you right I've cut this yellow mat at three and seven eighths by five and one eight to go behind this mat I'm gonna grab my glue get these two adhered together and get them adhered to the front of my card Next, we have this diagonal yellow stripe, and this is a border piece, and it's cut at an inch and a quarter by four and a quarter, and that's going to go all the way across. So I'll get that adhered to the front of my card. Our next mat is two by four inches, just like on the sketch. And I'm going to back this with another piece of that yellow. This is two and an eighth by four and an eighth. I'll get that adhered together. And that's going to go right there. I am loving this together. I don't know if you call this teal blue, teal green, or what. But I think it's so pretty with the yellow. And this piece has little white and yellow daisies all over it. So it's perfect to use with these daisy stamps. So let's get that adhered. Now it's time to add our daisies and ladybugs. And for this card, I'm going to use these right down here. These are just the prettiest stickers. I hope you guys can find them at your Dollar Tree. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? This is what's just going to make this card so beautiful. We're going to go ahead and get that stuck down. Look at what a difference that makes. Adding those beautiful stickers. And lastly... This is going to be a birthday card, so I've cut this circle at an inch and a half, and I stamped it 
using one of my Cards TV stamp sets. This one's called Let's Party. You can find it over at my online store. That's cardstvstamps.blogspot.com. We've got two cute little balloons, and there's a string if you want to uh, put your balloon on there. We've got a candle, a little gift, happy birthday, celebrate, blow out the candles just for you, party on, and let's party. So if you'd like to pick this one up, guys, I'll get it right out to you. Okay, this is on foam tape. We're going to pull that backing off. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a terrible time with allergies right now. The tree pollen in Kentucky is awful. So please excuse my voice. It's coming and going. Okay. Woo, that's some more of that sticky Dollar Tree foam tape. And we're just going to stick that right in here. Oh my gosh, that turned out so pretty. Look at that, guys. Love it. So that finishes card number one. For card number two, we're going to use some of these gorgeous flower stickers. And also this note card. Look at that foiling on there. I hope you can see it. It's so pretty. We've got these two little birds and these beautiful flowers and leaves and then all of that beautiful foiling. Now, I cut this off the note card and I've trimmed it down. And it is three and five eighths by five and one sixteenth because I didn't want to cut any of the uh, pretty leaves or the bird's tails or anything off. So that's what size I uh, cut it down to. Now we've got our white card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. And I've cut this pretty medium lavender. It's gonna cover the whole card front. So I cut this at four and a quarter by five and a half. And then to go on top of that, I found this pretty little lavender gingham. Now, you can leave this plain if you don't have a way to cut a scalloped mat. Or you can use like elegant edges. You can go in Cricut Design Space and see what you can find. You can use your silhouette or if you have a scallop die, you can do that. But this is... About four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So if you were just going to cut it straight with no scallops, that's what size you'd want to cut it. And you can see it leaves that little bit of that darker lavender border around it. I'm going to get all of this adhered to the front of the card. Then we're going to put the card or the uh, beautiful foiled note card on front of that and then we're going to dress it up with some of these flowers and a sentiment. This is going to be a beautiful Mother's Day card. So let me grab my glue and start getting all of this adhered. Now I think that is just beautiful just like it is but I was looking at these flowers and this one looks very much like this flower. So I thought if we went ahead, added this one, making sure not to cover up that pretty little bird. And it's on foam tape with some glitter. So that gives it even more dimension and sparkle. And then I looked at these purple ones, and this one looks a lot like this one. So I thought we could add this as well, trying to decide which angle I want this at so it, it looks like it fits the best. Probably, let's turn it just a little bit more. That's perfect. 
Now we've added even more dimension to this beautiful card, which makes it look even brighter and more full. And now we're going to add the sentiment, Happy Mother's Day. It's on this little banner. And this banner is about two and a quarter inches by half an inch. I've got it on some foam tape. Adding those flowers just really brings this card to life. It's not flat anymore. It's got so much dimension. We're going to let, let that hang off just a tiny bit right here. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that, guys. Just adding a few little things here and there. And I hope you can see that foiling and that glitter on those beautiful flowers. So there we go, guys. That completes card number two. Card number three is going to be a birthday card, and it's also a landscape-style card. And we're going to use this foiled note card, and these two rectangular scallop dies. One is bigger, and it is approximately four and a quarter by five and a half, and I've cut that out of some pink. Which I think is really pretty. It's a very bright, pretty pink. That's going to go down first. And this die is three and three quarters by five. So if you don't have a scallop die or you don't have uh, some kind of cutting machine to cut a scallop rectangle you can just do these straight using those measurements and there is the little flowered mat that I cut with the second die I'm gonna grab my glue and get these put together I love that it's so colorful that is really cute now to go in the center I took two more scallop dies and these are ovals, and one is a larger, and then the other a smaller, and I used some more of that pink for the larger one. I'm trying to get everything over here. Everything's trying to fall in the floor, guys. <laughs> I think it's time to clean my desk off. Okay, I've got the larger one out of some more of that pink. We're going to center that right there. And then the smaller one is out of white. And I went ahead and stamped, wishing you the very best of everything. And I used Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And on the inside, I'll stamp Happy Birthday, since this is a birthday card. And for this set, here's some more stuff falling in the floor, guys. <laughs> I used the Cards TV potpourri stamp set and where is that wishing you the very best of everything now you can find this over in my online stamp store that's cards tv stamps.blogspot.com if you want to pick that up guys it's in stock and i'll get it right out to you so i'm gonna adhere these two together and then i'm gonna pop this up on some foam tape and get it right there in the center These are such pretty pinks, aren't they? Okay, I'll get my foam tape and get some on the back. And we're almost done with this one. We're just going to embellish it a little bit more, and this one will be done. That is really cute. Now, I wanted a bow to go at the top and I wanted a few little flowers that match these on the foiled note card. So I pulled out some more of my dies. This card was made completely with dies. 
Here is a little paper bow that I did out of some green. And this came in a set of three dies. And these are unbranded. I got them from Amazon. But this is the smaller for the smallest bow. We're going to go ahead and stick that down with some glue. I love this green with this pink. That's just so cute. We want to get that centered right about there. Really, really cute. Now, for the little flowers, I looked through my stash of dies and stamps and looked through my Cricut and this is the closest I could come to uh, getting the same type of flowers that are in this background. This is a little punch. I've had it for years. I punched out two little orange flowers. If I can pick them up. We're going to put one there. And one over here. And then I did one in pink. That's going to go right here. I'm going to put these down with some glue. And then I'm going to find some little uh, enamel dots to go in the center of them. So let me go ahead and get these put down. This is turning out really cute, isn't it, guys? I went through all my enamel dots and my little glittery dots, and I found these pretty little pink ones. They're very sparkly, and they're very hard to pick up. <laughs> they're going to stick to me, but not to my little pick. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's so cute. Very sweet. Need to move it over just a little bit. That adds just a little bit more sparkle to this sweet little card. And we've already got the foiled note card. So this is a really sparkly card. Okay. There we go, guys. I hope you can see all the foiling and the sparkle on the little flowers. Didn't that turn out sweet? That finishes card number three. Okay, guys. Here's card number one, two, and card number three. In today's video and these were all made using my small Dollar Tree haul of stickers and note cards now we've still got lots of flower stickers for more cards and we still have one of these foiled note cards we haven't used yet so we're gonna come back in part number two and make more cards check out your Dollar Tree guys and see what you can find if you don't find these stickers and note cards you may find some others that will work just as well but it's lots of fun to challenge yourself by taking what you can find and seeing what you can come up with I sure have had fun doing this I hope you have too Thanks so much for coming by today, guys. You know I love you all. God bless you all. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.